The most popular character in Apex Legends is about to get buffed. And real quick, for those of you who don't know what a buff is, essentially it's just a fancy word for making a character better. At first, I didn't really understand why they would make a decision like this. She's already popular, so that means that she's pretty good, right? But after some thought, I think I figured it out. Every good brand has a face, something you immediately associate with the product. For Nike, they have a silly little check mark. For Call of Duty, they have Ghost, an in-game character. Heck, even games with no distinct characters have a face. Take a look at Minecraft, they've got Steve. He doesn't really play an essential role because, well, there's no story, but he's still a part of their brand. Anyways, let me get back to my point. Apex Legends lost their poster child. With the in-game roster becoming bigger and bigger as the seasons go on, Wraith kind of faded out of relevancy. And how are they going to go about circumventing this? They're going to give her a buff. But not just any buff. She's already popular within public play, aka casual play, what the majority of us recognize. But lately, Apex has been leaning into being more competitive, so they're going to go ahead and buff her accordingly. For all of those of you who wanted her instant phase back, I hate to break it to you, but that is not what the buff is going to be. And frankly, I think it would be quite the unhealthy decision nowadays. What they're going to go ahead and do is increase her ultimate ability's distance. Currently, she creates a portal, and yes, it's useful, but in its current state, I just don't think it covers enough ground. Rumor has it, they're going to double the range, and I think that's going to be enough to push her back into the competitive scene. And if everything goes well, Wraith will hopefully reclaim her throne and become Apex Legends poster child again.